we'll start with an opening statement from Coach, then open up for questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. First of all, hats off to Florida. Smoking hot team right now. Now, <clears throat> coming off of two big wins. Um, and they're, they're a legitimate team. And I know maybe their record doesn't reflect that, but they've had injuries. They've been in and out just like uh, us. And um, they're just a tough out. And uh, so I just want to commend them for the job that, that Kelly has done and um, have the utmost respect for her and their program. As far as my team is concerned, just incredibly proud. Um, <clears throat> I know people question my coaching style sometimes, but I don't say anything that I hadn't earned the right to say. And so when I call my team out, no one felt any type of weight. If anything, they agree agreed. And, you know, and they know that they're better than what they showed that last game, that last game. Not really sure why we came out so flat. We had a great week of practice, but um, just really <clears throat> proud of the team and how they fought back. And once we got into overtime, <clears throat> I didn't say a word. They were talking in those huddles and saying, we're not leaving here without a win. Questions for Coach? Yo, you, you talked a couple of days ago about wanting to be the tougher team. Mm -hmm. how, how much toughness did your team show tonight? Well, shout out to uh, Chancellor Boyce. Chancellor Boyce spoke to us before the conference SEC play started. And he said one thing he loved about our team, it was every night that we stepped out on the floor, we were the toughest team. And that stuck with me because that's what I want my program and our team to be known for. And so tonight, I never felt like the game was out of reach. I just felt like we needed to settle down we need to focus and show a level of toughness. And I thought my team aced that, aced it tonight. Speaking of that toughness, I mean, the offensive rebounds were 26 to eight, you guys. I mean, can you just tell me how proud you are of that? Huh. Listen, there's three ways we score, okay? Transition, rebounding, and the free throw line. It's no secret. That's what the numbers show. 55 rebounds, Grace, 26 offensive rebounds. That's toughness. That's grit. That's determination. And uh, really proud of our group. Yeah, uh, Maddie got into some foul trouble again, but just talk to how she played the closing minutes and overtime with, with four fouls. Here's the thing about Maddie. Maddie, uh, the coaches kept saying, do we want to get her out? I'm like, hell no, I'm not taking her out because uh, she has to grow through this. Maddie has been to the Sweet 16 with us, been in a championship NIT game, been in the first round game. Like, I trust her. I trust her, and I expect her to be able to finish the game out. And what she said, she meant Maddie wants to win. And so whatever it takes, I remember it was an overtime and I said, don't be afraid, go and take it, you know? And she hates when people say like, you're afraid, but it's not, she's not afraid of anybody. I just didn't want her to be afraid of the moment. And so when she rose up and hit that shot and looked at me and I looked at her, I knew she was locked in and there was no way I was taking her out the game. I know after that Auburn game, you said that you were glad you weren't in the position where you had to go down and make a shot to win the game because you weren't <laughs> sure if you would be able to. But Marquisha did that to send it to overtime tonight. I guess, how was she able to not let the moment get too big for her and rise up? Uh, like like Maddie said, Quee is a bucket. And Quee had two off games. And uh, she didn't pout, brushed herself off, got back in the gym. Apologize to her team, apologize to everybody, and she wants to win. This has been the most energetic, the loudest, the most 
intentional Marquisha we've seen. And I, I, how many points does she have? 21? I wouldn't have even known she had a double-double, all right? But I just knew she was on the floor. I felt her presence. And again, she's someone else that I trust, uh, you know, to do big th things when the moment counts. So I wanted her to have the ball. I got her to the top. She made it happen. Hi, uh, Jack Meyer from the Independent Florida Alligator. Uh, I actually have a pair of questions. Just for sure. Uh, first of all, um, you uh, your team held Leilani Correa to just 10 points tonight. Mm -hmm. um, prior to this, she'd been on a crazy good hot streak. She's dropped 30 plus points multiple games in the past few weeks. So, what were you guys doing to keep her in check? Like, how were you able to cool her down? Well, we were one of the teams she had a 30 piece on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we took it personal and wanted to do our best to play team defense against her. She's so good. It one-on-one -on -one coverage doesn't help, but we really study collectively a lot of film on her tendencies, uh, how she likes to score, and the girls stuck to the game plan. I was proud of them. On that topic, um, what aside from you know how you guys covered Correa, what would you say went differently from your first meeting with Florida mm -hmm. this season? And what would you say was like more of the same? I mean, <clears throat> I thought we got stops when we needed to, and over time we held. Florida to three points in five minutes, and we exploded for 13. That was similar. But we didn't expect the game to be the same because Mataru didn't play. And she brings another level of offensive power to them. And they had played more games. So they're starting to gel. They're starting to figure it out. So anytime you have to play someone twice, you know, that second time, you got to – you got to – it's who wants it the most – they don't want to lose two times, and we want to win one on the road. This was a must-win for us. You know, we're a team that we don't want any questions when it comes to if we're an NCAA tournament team. And so uh, Florida is ahead of us in the net. This was on the road. We should get a lot of positive points because of this. So this was a big win for our program. Thank you. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you all.